Hey everybody, if you could help me out, this would be great. Welcome to another edition of Van Lake Jackson 3D Printed Trains with a problem. So I got this Bamboo A1, pretty good printer, and uh, made a bunch of nice things from it. I like the way the things work. quite good, generally speaking. Uh, but now, for some reason, I have done nothing to it. It was the same exact settings, and now it's printing exceedingly slowly. Uh, you can see that it jumps around quick here and then, but for the most part, it's insanely slow. And then the purge takes about four minutes. And you'll see, instead of just zooming out the filament, which was really quite satisfying the way, and it would knock itself out the way, but now it kind of eases the filament out like an old man trying to get out of a chair. And instead of uh, pushing the filament out the way, it just sort of piles up and it gets a huge melted glob on the end. Not to mention that instead of taking, you know, a minute, it takes four minutes. You can see it slowly, slowly purging it out. That's that initial purge. It hasn't actually gotten to the actual purge part yet. In fact, uh, yeah, this is, yeah, this isn't even purging out. This is going to go from white to black. And, of course, it's going to be hard to see the black, but I end up using a flashlight. But it would normally just jam it out of the way, and the force of it coming out pushes it out of the way. But as you can see, it's already sort of collecting on the tip. And each time I end up with a big melted blob on the end of the nozzle. Did not change a thing. That's right. Molten blob on the end of the nozzle takes forever, and it's printing at about a third the speed it should print, which is it's annoying. Ridiculously fast. It was scary fast. <laughs> you can see the top thing is still the extruder is slowly so spinning there. We're gonna say it creates a molten blob on the end of the nozzle. You can see the molten nozzle blob. It's still slowly flushing, very very slowly. It's doing black. You got out of the white. You're going to black now. Went back to the presets. I did the firmware update on the machine. The slicer was already updated. Why the hell is it doing like this? Don't know. Do you went back know. to the presets. Yeah, it did. Still. Any help? Any ideas? No idea why it's doing this. Destroys the use of the printer. It does make it useless. It it's like a creality now. This will eventually destroy the print because the stuff doesn't come off easily. No, it doesn't. Piling on the bed, also the problem. Not to mention the fact that it takes a freaking hour. And the same settings that purge <coughs> this now purge like that. Every single color change. Every time. Once like this. Couldn't figure out why it was taking so long on the slices. Clearly. Finally. Yeah, it's not even done yet. I thought it was going back. It hasn't even finished purging the black yet. Take the time to rush. Now it's purging you know, the black. Of course, it's hard to see. And since the oddly illogical numbering system, one, two, three, four, I guessed wrong. I was trying to use two different colors. I got them both wrong. Very, very slowly. I mean, at least this one that kind of wiggled back and forth so it doesn't make the blob so much. So why in the hell is it doing this? Bamboo's alright. I already had an X1C I sent back because it didn't work either. That one jammed on the first print. Normally this stuff shoots out of there. It does. It's an impressive printer when it works. You now it turns a already slow process of flushing into multiple minutes. Four minutes. And that little blip, blip, blip thing, that didn't even work. That got <laughs> caught up. I had to file away just to make it so that would swing back and forth because it got stuck every damn time. Still flushing. Took forever, man. That's insane. This is one color change. We're four and a half minutes into this thing. I mean, look at that thing. That's the purge box. The speed's ridiculous. Everything's going insanely slow. What the hell's going on with this machine? Do not know. I made a video to ask people to help me out. You see, woof, moves like that when it wants to. 
It's insane. The automation doesn't make any sense with these So, things. anyway, if you can help me out with this thing, really appreciate it. You can see it. it's got speed hiding inside of it. Any bamboo people who love this machine so much, tell me what the heck I did wrong. I went back to the original preset, so I can't figure out what I could do to undo it. So explain this to me, I'd really appreciate it. Me too. Anyway. I love the bamboos. This is the second one I've had. Always oh, this. Thanks for the help. Anyway, thanks for all the help. Check it out next time. Hopefully it'll be printing better. Thanks.